The accounts we've been learning about can be categorized a number of different ways. We've categorized accounts by which financial statement they are reported on. We've categorized accounts by whether or not they are current or long term. And now we are going to categorize our accounts a new way, uh, whether they are permanent or temporary. Temporary accounts are closed at the end of the period. Closed means to zero the account balance. Permanent accounts are unaffected by the closing journal entries, with the exception of retained earnings. The income summary account, which is a, a new account for us, it is a transitional account in which all revenues and expense accounts are transferred, uh, transferred to this account at the end of the period. The net amount uh, transferred equals the net income or net loss for a period. This account is rarely used by corporations, but some te textbooks still show this method, so we want to cover it. So the closing journal entries is a formal process of moving revenues and expenses and dividends to retained earnings. You recall very early on that we learned that revenues increase equity, while expenses and dividends decrease equity. Up until this point, that has all been conceptual. When we record the closing journal entries, this is when those impacts on equity actually happen. And finally, we, we prepare these accounts uh, to begin the next period with zero balances. Here are some data from Coca-Cola's 2013 financial statements. The operating revenues is a temporary account. The amounts shown are the amounts earned in that year, not the total amount of revenue Coke has ever earned. So each year, revenues are closed so that Coke can begin tracking revenues for the next year. Cash, on the other hand, is not closed. It is the amount of cash Coke had on hand at the end of last year. It wouldn't make sense to close this account and start the new year with a zero balance in the cash account. Coke would start the new year with a beginning balance that was last year's ending balance. So let's look at an adjusted trial balance and learn how to make the closing entries. Here is an example of an adjusted trial balance. We could have used financial statements to close the temporary accounts as well. Let's start with service revenue, which had a credit balance of $4,000. The first journal entry is to close revenues to income summary. Since revenues have a $4,000 credit balance, we will debit service revenue to make the balance zero. Income summary will then be credited. After posting this entry, the balance in service revenue is zero. Note that if we had more than one revenue account, like rent revenue and interest revenue, we would include them in the journal entry like this. Next, uh, we'll close expenses. The second journal entry is to close expenses to income summary. We record our expenses separately in the journal entry because each account needs to be zeroed out. You can see that in the example here. Income summary will then be debited for the total of all the expenses. After posting this journal entry, all of our expenses will be zeroed out. The third journal entry is to close income summary to retained earnings. To do this, we need to figure out the ending balance in income summary. Once we post the first two closing entries, we can determine the balance of income summary. The balance, by the way, should equal our net income. In this case, the balance is a $700 credit. So to close income summary, we debit the account $700. The balance is now zero and will remain zero until next period when we close our temporary accounts. The credit is now to retained earnings. The last temporary account to close is dividends. The final journal entry to, uh, is to close dividends to retained earnings. Since dividends has a $1,000 debit balance, we will credit dividends to make the balance zero. Retained earnings will then be debited. Uh, note, dividends is not an income statement account, so it is not closed to income summary first. Now let's look at our retained earnings account. We started with a $4,600 balance, uh, which came from the trial balance, and that's a credit balance. 
We increased the account when we closed income summary. Recall that net income increases equity. This journal entry is how that happens. We decreased the account when we closed dividends. Recall that dividends decrease equity. And this journal entry is how that happens. When we've, uh, uh, excuse me, then we have an ending balance of $4,300. Now let's compare that to what we reported on the statement of retained earnings. You can see that the ledger for retained earnings now matches what was reported on the statement of retained earnings. It's like magic, only real. And that concludes this important video on closing journal entries.